as a result of the depletion of the ozone layer, as a, as a result of huge heating of, of the earth, okay? This melts, and as such, if it melts, there will be excessive water that cannot stay in seas. It has to come out as what? Tsunamis and flooding and all these things, okay? So you see how they are connected. Okay, you see how they are connected. Yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, you know it can you know illegal dumping you know like we've seen here in the Gambia, diseases are as a result of uh, pollution and so on and so forth may cause death you know and so on. So we um, look at this. This is a, this is an example of a, of a tsunami. Okay, you see how many people are going to be consumed by these uh, huge water waves, okay? All because of, of course, there is a natural element to it. If, if um, God says that this is going to happen, it will happen. But sometimes it can be, you know, precipitated by our own action, our own human actions, okay? So um, some of the causes of uh, environmental problems, of course, um, cutting of trees, like we've been saying, uh, to make charcoal, to make wood. Now look at it, our timber, you know, um, is being exported to China for peanuts, you know, very serious. Most of the timber we produce now goes to China. And the people who, you know, sell it to them, they sell it to them at peanuts. And then when they take it to China, they make millions out of it, okay? In the meantime, they are damaging our environment to a great deal. Inadequate rainfall and lack of irrigation. Okay, um, of course, it's all interrelated. Um, another big problem that we have, which is which will soon start, if it has not started, is bushfires. Okay, bushfire is a big problem in this country, and nothing goes out of it. Look at what happened last year. I was so angry last year when I saw uh, uh, Brikama Forest, the Nyambai Forest in fire, in flames. I was so angry. And as far as I know, nothing came out of it. Are you aware of this? Last Was it last year or year before last? Somebody, in fact, last year it happened, year before last also it happened. Somebody just decided to, you know, uh, 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 how to call it, light fire on Nyambai forest, okay? In, in places like the Kians, the Jaras, and so on and so forth, and all other places, this is the time for bushfires. Very bad. It kills our animals. It kills our trees. It kills our plants. Okay? And of course, it kills the manure that is prevalent on the surface of the, of the earth. What are we doing about this? What are we doing? And the saddest thing is, in the Gambia, you can even see people who try to light fire and will just ignore the person and go your way. What is wrong with us? What is wrong with us? Can you imagine what I'm trying to say? Huh? Unsolicited public dumping, you know, uh, very poor waste management. Okay? Of course, another problem that we have in the Gambia is the plastic bags. The plastic bags. Now they want to put the law back, but I have not seen anything. People are still using plastic bags. Okay, people are still using plastic bags. So I, I mean, we we are uh, we are. Uh, not enforced. Sorry. I said the, you know law the, the law is still in place to so ban plastic bags, but the problem is that you know it is not enforced by this in your government. Exactly, it's not enforced. The law is just gathering dust. If the law is there and it's not being enforced, then that means it's useless law. It's useless law. That's the unfortunate thing. That's the unfortunate thing. Um, I mean, okay, fine. Uh, the plastic bag, okay, you can say this has got, um, you know, a lot of bearing on our lives, and especially the, the people who do petty trading in the markets, you know, they use it for, 
and they are packaging and stuff. Okay, fine. But when you look at it, um, the, the, the risks or the harms the, uh, associated with plastic bag outweighs the benefits. Okay? It outweighs the benefit. Sorry, so, Mr. Fofan, I know this thing I heard it uh, from the radio, some weeks back. Because, you know, people are talking about the government, you know, imposing the law of banning plastic bags. So the journalist was going around the market also asking some vendors there. But many vendors, you know, are against it because they said before government, you know, put a law, such a law in place, they need to think twice and also consult the stakeholders. Because they said so there are some, you know, items that are, you know, they are perishable. Things like black pepper and even milk powder. Such things, you're going to put them into the paper because they will perish. But if you put them into plastic, you know, plastic bag, they can, you know, they can stay for some time. Yeah, but I think yeah. Yeah, you know, Dumbaya, they will, they will always defend themselves. It's, it's very typical of Gambians. If things don't favor us, you know, no matter what, you know, harm it causes, we don't care. We'll always speak, you know, look, look at the, the case of the, of the fairies. Look at the case of, uh, 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 how to call it, GPA. Their MD was interviewed regarding the, the, the ferry that went missing, said last week or week before last. He was very defensive. If it were other countries, he would resign. If it were other countries, he would resign. That was very, very, very risky. Very risky. Very risky. Now, also be like, it could have been, you know, a uh, uh, Lojola, Lojola scenario. You remember about, about the, the Jola button in, in Senegal? That capsized and so on. It could have been that. Now, also be like, okay, so that's the problem with Gambians. We don't want to face the realities. Look, uh, Dumbe, I don't know how old you are, but for people like us who are around 40 or, or a bit above 40, in our childhood days in the villages, there was nothing like plastic bags. People have got their bottles. They are bottles for, for, for palm oil. They are bottles for, 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 for uh, uh, dually. You understand? Whenever they're going, they take the, when they, whenever they're going to buy their bottle, uh, whenever they're going to buy a dually, they take the bottle for, for this. You understand? So what is wrong with that? Now, anything that you want to buy, especially from the market, they put it in plastic bag. Even porridge, they put it in plastic bag. And these plastic bags are harmful, very harmful. So, you know, the health aspect is there, the environmental aspect is also there. But we'll still defend it. We'll still defend it. I mean, it's, it's just crazy. So, but like I said, it is our responsibility to pass the word round. Okay, we don't only go to university to learn our hard skills, but we learn soft skills. Our hard skills are the things that we want to study, like if you want to become an accountant, if you want to become an engineer, but there is life, you know, there is more to life than only your career. The soft skills will make sure your career prevails, you know how you take care of yourself, how you take care of others, you know, and so on and so forth. It's really, really important, okay? So let's move on. How do we reduce environmental problems? It is our responsibilities, okay? Where there are felling of trees, what do we do? We ensure, we advise people not to fell trees. We don't only advise them, but we tell them the effects of felling a tree. We've all learned from our general science how trees contribute to the water cycle. You know, we've all learned about the water cycle, okay? How, uh, uh, how to call it, um, evaporation happens on the trees of uh, water cycles, okay? How the, 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 the water on, on, on top of the, the earth's surface evaporates together with the leaves uh, of, of trees and so on and so forth. You know, that evaporation you know, uh, will, 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 will kind of um, uh, 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 coalesce, you know, the, the wind will take it up and, you know, uh, clouds will be formed and, uh, you know, those cumulonimbus clouds, they call it, you know, cumulonimbus clouds, they call it, um, those clouds will, will coalesce, you know, to form bigger droplets and uh, those bigger droplets will fall as rain, okay? And then the rainwater will, you know, um, Will, will, will sit on our surface and in wells and so on and so forth, and how that will, is going to go up through this water cycle. We've all learned that. So trees are very, very, very pivotal 
when it comes to rains. And not only that, trees are very, 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 very important. Very, very important. Even if it is a tree that is not a fruit tree, you can benefit from its shade. Okay? Not only benefiting from its shade, you can benefit from its what? Oxygen. Because what we do as human beings is the opposite of what trees do. As human beings, we take in oxygen and we excrete carbon dioxide. Okay? What do trees do? Trees, they take in carbon dioxide. So that means our bad gases that we excrete on the surface of the earth, the trees will capture that. And then what, the, what do they give back? They give back oxygen. Look at this. No wonders. Anywhere where there are trees, there is always, you know, uh, peace. This is true. This is true. We take in oxygen, and what do we do? We, we, we excrete carbon dioxide, which is a bad gas. Carbon dioxide is part of the greenhouse gases. In fact, it is among the most dangerous greenhouse gases that can cause some of these problems. But trees will consume our carbon dioxide and then give out what we need, the oxygen. Can you see? Is this not good? I treated this EMA uh, environmental management accounting with my last semester students during the rains. And I encourage each and every one of them to plant a tree. Okay? I know rainy season is over now, but we all have our water source. So please, if you can, try and plant a tree even though we're in the dry season. It's very, very, very important. Very, very, very important. So how do we use environment? How do we reduce environmental problems? One of the key things that we do is planting trees and involve ourselves in agricultural activities, horticulture, you know, and so on and so forth. Very, very important. The second thing that we do is let us sensitize people to stop bushfires. Bushfires are not good. They kill our animals, they kill our rodents. I remember when I was young, you know, we used to go, this, this time of the year, we used to go and, uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we used to go hunting for these uh, squirrels, rabbits and so on and so forth. And we used to catch a lot. But now it's very, very difficult because they are facing away. We are killing them as a result of bushfires and all these crazy things. Okay? And this charcoal business is so common. Any, any village you go to now, they have this, they call it fool. Na furo. Na furo like that. Yeah, but in na furo, I'm expecting a lot of money. You know? I mean, it's crazy. The effects are very dangerous. You're killing trees to make charcoal. You know, now the government has made it very, very easy. You know, they have subsidized gas prices. You know, very similar to what happens in Senegal. Gas is very, very cheap. In my house, for example, um, we buy our gas, I think the, the bottle, we refill it for about $725 or something, $700 or something. And that can take us a whole month. So gas is very cheap for information. So please, from today, replace your charcoal, replace your firewood with gas. Okay? When you talk about gas, a lot of people will be afraid. They say, oh, it's very expensive. No, it's not expensive. Okay? So do your bit and let somebody else also uh, do his boss. Dumbaya, are you going to do that? Sorry, to do what? To replace your charcoal and your firewood with gas for your cooking. Yeah, due to the high demand on the you know, charcoal, you know, now it is becoming expensive because I think one bag is around 300 or so. Exactly. And the, exactly. the, the big one, you know, gas is uh, 400. Exactly. Is 200, exactly. So they're almost the same. Yes. So, Senabu, 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 you the ladies who cook. Do you cook with firewood or with charcoal or with gas? Nima, tell me. Let the ladies come. I'm well, telling you, please, in your, in your, I know you will say, I know you say we are, we are students, maybe we are not the breadwinners, but you can, you know, talk to your parents or talk to anybody, your husbands. Okay? Please, let's do this. It's really, really important for us to uh, 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 do justice to our environment. Okay? And these are bits and pieces. But they're, they're, they're really important. If you, do, if you do your bit, I do my bit. 
this other guy does is big, it's going to become bigger. And then the effects will be, the effects will be good. Say that, boy. Say that, Dumbuya, are you with us? Nima, Nima Suare? I said too. The ladies, what are you doing? Are you going to pass the word around? Aji Rui? Hello? Yes, Mr. Fumon. Yes, Aji, yes. What do you use to cook? Gas, charcoal, or what? Charcoal. Charcoal. Have you tried gas? It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Some people will say, okay, but we have kids in the house. Oh, gas is, uh, it could be very risky and so on. Okay, you can, you can do it in such a way that kids will not have access to it. So please, let's try. Let's try. Let's try to be innovative. Gambians are not good at uh, being innovative. Go to Senegal. Most of the households cook with gas. Most of them. Have we realized that? Even in the provinces, most people use gas in Senegal. But Mr. Fofana, you know gas in Senegal is very cheap. And, and you, you know, you have not tried it here. It's very, very cheap here also. Can you imagine? I tell you, we no, use a, no, this big gas no, bottle, which is about 50 kg, for $725 for a month. That is very cheap. No, but, no, but Mr. Fofana, Senegal is the cheapest one there. If you want to, if you, in Gambia, you want to compare gas here in Gambia and Senegal. No, no I, I know Senegal will be cheaper because I think for them, they produce it. But in the Gambia also, it's not bad. I'm telling you, as we are talking now, gas is cheaper than firewood or even charcoal. Charcoal is very expensive. Now it's coming to, it's, I think the price is like almost close to $300 per bar, something like that. Okay? So, so it's just that Gambians are, you know, uh, they don't want to try things. Like I remember, you know, uh, when I came in uh, newly from, from UK in, in 2010, you know, I, I brought my washing machine. I wanted to fix it. And the people were saying, what? Washing machine? Can you, can you afford that cash power? You know, they were kind of discouraging me. But that's not the case. It's very cheap. So what I did was, when I installed it, I said, okay, I'll test how this, you know, uh, is, is going to consume my electricity. So I switched off all my appliances, put the washing machine on for about an hour. You know, an hour, usually a washing machine, you can have 30 minutes wash or an hour wash. An hour wash is usually for clothes that are, you know, heavily, you know, uh, shoved and stuff, okay? So, I came to a conclusion that a wash that lasted for an hour cost me only $10. $10. Okay? So, if you have to take somebody to wash your clothes to iron it for you, it's going to be more expensive. So, the problem with us Gambians is we don't, we don't test things. We don't, we don't experience things. We just believe in what people say to us. That's all we do. A lot of things that we believe in here are like that. People say, oh, but this is not good. This is, but have they tested it? Have they made any, I mean, inquiries? Have they made any follow-ups to ensure that what, what, what other people are saying is true? It's not the case. So when you, when you do the comparison, you will come to a conclusion that gas is definitely cheaper than firewood and that. And uh, and uh, and uh, uh, how to call it uh, and coal and charcoal, okay. So just try it. You 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 know what I'm talking about, okay. So another way of reducing uh, environmental problems is to, you know, um, try to use efficient equipments like um, air conditions, uh, vehicles. Now you have air conditions and vehicles and refrigerators that are energy efficient that emits uh, very low greenhouse gases, okay? Um, you have to reduce your footprint as an individual, okay? Very, very important. What's your footprint? Uh, this is the amount of greenhouse gas you as an individual, you know, release to the atmosphere. It could be, of course, um, as a result of using uh, certain equipment, as a result of using your car, as a result of using your refrigerator, as a result of using an air condition, and of course, as a result of you living, of course, because each time you inhale and exhale, what, you, uh, what comes out of your mouth is CO2, okay? So, but that is difficult to, to control that. 
but then at least you can control other activities like um, uh, the kind of machinery you use, you know, and stuff like that. Okay, so of course we need to be aware of anti-metering laws. So let us stop dumping, you know, especially on the road. You know, in some areas in KMC, they've got uh, these uh, public bins, you know, that if you are on the street, you can, you know. So please, from today, if you go out and about and you have rubbish in your hand, don't throw it out there. Never throw it, okay? Never throw your rubbish. Make sure you have it, um, you know, done in such a way that you can, you know, uh, uh, dump it. So, so, so this is, uh, so I'm going to challenge you all to, 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 to do that, you know, um, do justice to your environment, you know, and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. So we have a case study. Uh, like I said, uh, this is a, a video. It's about 10 minutes or so on recycling in the Gambia. So I'm going to um, play that video. So we watch it and uh, uh, there are a lot of lessons to learn from this video. Then we will discuss it after that. Okay, is that okay? It's 16 hours. Okay, one second, then I just play the video. Okay, let me just um, connect the video. Stop recording, I'll just stop.